Part four says to verify, which is an unusual word. They don't use verify very much. That means just kind of like show, check that it is, that it's true. Um, but not you don't need to do any like rigorous proof or anything. Um, but it is a bit, it's a, people tend not to like this word. Um, but it's okay. All we need to do is kind of check what um, kind of rules we need. Okay, part four asks us to verify that A to B, which we have the coordinates of here, A and B say 2, 1. Well, it wouldn't be that way around, would it? 2, 1 and 10 minus 5 are actually the diameter of a circle. So. Obviously, we know that the diameter goes through the center of the circle. So, how do we show that that is that's what situation that we have? Well, earlier we found out the length of the line. We found out the length of the line was ten, and in part three we said that the radius was five. So, if the radius of this circle, this circle here, is five, then its diameter is ten. So, the length is correct. So that's something that we can write down. The radius times 2 equals 10, which is the length of AB. But that could just be a coincidence. I could have I could have um, a length of a line. I could have a length of 10 over here, and it not and it not be the um, the radius of this circle. Um, so how do we show that um, that is in fact on this circle? Well, the other thing we can use is the fact that we know the centre. We know the centre is 6, 1. Sorry, 6, 2. Um, so if the midpoint of our 2, 1 and 10 minus 5 is 6, 1, 6, negative 1, then that is enough to show that it's the, the diameter of the circle. So let's find the midpoint of AB. That's the next step. And to find the midpoint of a line, we add the x coordinates up and halve them. So that will be 2 plus 10 over 2. And 1 plus minus 5 over 2. which will come out at 6 and uh, negative 2, which is exactly what we want. That's what we had before. We had that the centre was 6, negative 2. So it does all fit together. So because this is the centre of the circle, and the diameter, the length of A to B is the correct length, that is enough to show that AB is the diameter.